Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Odin and it's time for some more Xanima. Alright, we have just arrived on the third floor. Uh, let's see. Let's check this out here first. Alright, let's, uh, I want to use my two-handed sword. Just going to make sure I can see. Yeah, I can see. Oh, man. Whoops. Uh, swing at this other one, I guess. Did Darren handle that? Yeah, he did. Okay. Just wanted to make sure that wasn't Darren who went down. All right, very good. Good job, Darren, as usual. Let's see, uh, none of this looks interesting, sadly. Let's take a look over here. Uh, we've got another regular Gamson, but we've got better ones. Uh, need to remind myself what I'm wearing here. I have the crude version of these, so this would be better. And uh, I think... Darren, let's double check here. Oh, yeah, he still has the quilted trousers, so he can use these. All right. And it matches his top. All right. You know, that's, uh, that's always very important to me. All right, time for us to get our Sea in the Dark helm. We might have to do a little killing first. Yeah, we will. Okay. Uh, what's the light situation like? Oh, it's perfect. Looks like his arms are caught behind his body. Oh, oh sorry, Darren. Whoops, oh, I'm kind of stuck on the chair here. And I kind of fell on my ass. And luckily, Darren saved us. We're still fighting the chair. There we go. Alright, another regular gampus in there. Okay, so, it looks like it's, has it always been this bright in this one corner? Doesn't it look strangely bright there, like they're drawing your attention to this? Well, I mean, I don't have a problem with that, that's fine, but remember we double-click that stone right there, and that's going to open this secret door for us. Now in here, we get the Sea in the Dark helmet. And luckily we have a bever, or whatever you call it, the bottom piece. So that's going to work real nice for us. Now I would give this to Darren, but he doesn't have anything to cover the bottom portion of his face. But he might he might already be in that situation. No, I mean, he's got a little bit of coverage. Hmm. I think we'll leave him with what he's got right now. Okay, so... Now I can see in the dark just fine, so the torch becomes unnecessary. And we can focus on the two-handed sword. Alright, just some shoes there in that wardrobe. A little bit of lore in case you'd like to read that, and a rusted chain shirt. Uh, what would that replace on me? Oh, I think that just goes... I don't think we would replace anything. All right. I always I always forget the layering rules when I spend a long time away from the game. I still have to remember those. Let's see if we get anything cool here. Uh, nope. All right. And this is just a washroom. Okay. Okay, so there's sometimes a zombie in this other room, isn't there? Uh, well, it doesn't look like it. Uh, 
something interesting in that box. I think there's another one on the other side, maybe. Yeah. Lots of stuff there, but nothing really... Nothing that we really want. Mm. Same story there, sadly. All right. What in the hell? There we go. Okay, and this is a restroom. And every time either my weapon or Darren's weapon scrapes against the wall or a door, it just freaks me out. Okay, let's go this way first, and uh, let's go back to the old habit of dropping things to mark where we've been. Okay, we gotta check the dresser, or chest of drawers. Eh, those boots are decent, but not that much of an improvement. And then we got the cloth leggings, which would be better than the crude cloth leggings. So switch these over. Sadly, we lost our color coordination there. Truly devastating. Uh, a two-handed battle axe, that's a nice looking weapon. You know what, that would be better than the bill, I'm pretty sure. For Darren, but if he starts uh, doing poorly with that axe, we'll switch him back to the bill because he was doing pretty damn well with the bill. Okay, so this is the room next door. Nothing interesting there. Uh, let's not get caught on the corner, shall we? Ooh, shit. Another health salve. All right. That is an excellent find. Um, now, wait a minute. As we sit here wondering about the layers, let's see what happens when we throw this padded coat on. That removes the tunic, that's right. Okay, so that's much better than the tunic. And we don't want any of that. And that jewelry box is always empty, as are all the rest of them. All right, we've got a bathroom there. Okay, I'll throw these pants down there. Get a stab there at the beginning. Oh, don't, don't close the damn door. Oh man, I, I ate that really, really hard. You know, the thing about fighting in the arena is that it never really trains you how to deal with these uh, narrow damn corridors. And the fighting is significantly different when you're in the corridors. It really is. Just got to do lots of corridor fighting, I guess. Throw that down there. That's another bathroom, right? Yes, it is. What am I hearing? I'm hearing combat. It sounds like it's coming from this way. Well, and then we have a zombie walking into a door right there. I don't know if that's who was fighting or not. But we'll certainly deal with that zombie in a moment. Let's see if I can reach this from across the bed. Uh, there we go. Exceptional cloth leggings. Hell yeah. Only drawback is they're purple, of course. But I'll take them. Uh, 
Uh, ooh, another pair of gauntlets. Go ahead and give these to the man. And don't need that. All right. Now let me check this first. That's interesting. The diviners deck or diviners. Uh oh. Hold on. Can I help you? Oh, I can whiff twice, that's for sure. There we go. Ooh, that was a beautiful overhead. That was wonderful. All right. And you don't have anything useful. Okay, looking back at the Diviner's deck. Oh, what the hell? What? You, apparently, you can double-click it and draw your damn cards. Oh, good. Perdition, Folly, and The Passage. So we're going to hell. Uh, we'll probably make some attempt to to resist it, but it's it's folly, it's pointless. And then we'll complete our journey to hell. I mean, I don't know what the hell any of this means. That was pretty sweet, though, man. I had no idea that was going to happen. Alright, please give me something cool. Please give me something cool. Uh, well. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the superior gauntlets. It's just not very exciting. As you can see, they are much better than the ones we have on. But I was hoping for a flail. Anyway. Probably not available until the later levels anyway, as we've discussed. I don't know that to be the case, but... I would guess that it is the case. Alright, come on out here, Darren. Uh, what the hell is this? That's a corpse. I was going to say, maybe we drag it over here and mark the door with it, but it's kind of a pain in the ass dragging bodies sometimes. That's good enough for me. Alright, let's go over here. Ooh, that's the proctor. Oh, how the hell did I not get out of the way of that? Come on, Darren, you got to do a little better than that, man. There we go. So that's a really nice looking one-handed sword. Or it's a, actually it's a one and a half handed sword, it's a bastard sword. It's a bastard sword! Have I used a bastard sword in this game before? What in the hell, man? Dude, that's pretty sweet. I'm not gonna really use it, but cool, man. Well, anyway, alright, so there's the Proctor's seal, who gives a damn. We don't need, uh... We don't need our van braces. Uh, we can give the chain shirt to Darren. And uh, we're good on that. Okay. Man, my combat is still really rusty. I still, for what it's worth, I still need to hit the arena. Have, oh, whoops. Have not been back to the arena since the hiatus. Some Uggs that we don't care about. Uh, there's some nice shoulders. I've got some. These are reinforced leather. These are crude. So we get the good ones. We pass the less than good ones on to uh, Darren. Always good. Mm, yeah, don't need any of that other stuff. And don't need any of that. All right. So now I think aren't there some chain leggings in here? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, aren't these the chain leggings right here? They are rusted, of course, but those should go over. There we go. So that's good. Uh, the worn curus. I still like what I have for now. And 
now there's a fine one. Okay, let me double check this again. Yeah, I still, I still like what I have better. I still like it better. Now, Darren, I think, is wearing a worn one, so we'll switch that out. And the exceptional boots. Uh, better than my reinforced. Cool. Switch these out. Switch those out. No problem. And that's a washroom. Getting some decent gear. Definitely getting some decent gear. That's nice. Um, let's go this way. Got that overhead. Let me back up here so we can get some room for Darren. Well, I was hoping you'd follow us out into this hallway. Okay. Oh my goodness, Darren! The overhead to the head! That was beautiful. All right, man. All right. Nothing interesting in those drawers there. Get out of the way, Darren. Thank you. And check the desk. Got some lore that you can pause and read if you'd like to. And then a new key. And as always, a washroom. And I suppose that's like a kitchen. Okay, let's go... Let's go this way. This is a bathroom? Yeah. Alright, I have not marked this. This is lore that's just naturally there in the doorway. There's some more. Check these wardrobes. Nothing special there, and nothing special there. What in the hell is that? That's uh, an alchemist apparatus. I uh, got some interesting shoes there. Oh, whoops, I meant to left click that. Uh, well, we're good on the, good on the leggings. Can I check that? Yep. A little more lore right there. Just a hell of a lot of cooking utensils to be found here. see anything here. As usual, Darren is in the way. Look out, Darren. Alright, let's try going this way. Oh, uh, let's see. I think I remember... Is this a dead end? I don't recall. Well, we'll find out next time, because actually this is where we're going to end today's episode. I want to thank you guys very much for hanging out with me. I always appreciate it. Please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.